Hi everyone, welcome to Monday's lessons. Here you're going to find your English and your maths activities for the day. So let's get started. We're starting in writing today, our learning intention and for this week is I can write sentences that give information. Because we are writing informative texts, we're writing things that do not give our opinion. Today, we are going to do these two steps. Step one, we are going to label parts of a kangaroo. Step two, we are going to write one to three sentences that tell us information about the kangaroo. You might want to even do your own research and add more, but it's up to you. So let's get started. Step one, let's label the parts of a kangaroo. Here are the names of the parts. We have ears. So the first one, ears. Next one, snouts. Eyes. Arms. Arms. Legs. So we've got, I don't know how to show you these, but legs. And then we've got a pouch. Now, Mrs. Debate doesn't have a pouch, but it's on the belly of the kangaroo. So it's here, pouch. Okay, so just here. This is the pouch. This one. And then we've got tail. So tail and fur. We've got fur. So here. So that's your help. You can t put those words into or onto the boxes that match and point to those parts of the kangaroo. So ears again, ears, we've got snout, we've got legs, here are our legs, we have the tail, then we've got the fur, what else is in there? Arms, the arms are up the top. It's all the different parts. Okay, of the kangaroo. Now, we're going to describe one of those parts because we're using our adjectives, remember, our describing words. So today, I'm going to use the word tail. So I'm going to talk about the tail of the kangaroo. So I'll put part here. So tail, here it is, tail, tail, and then I'm going to think of a describing word, something that describes that tail. If I look at the tail, I automatically see it's very long. So I might write long, l, a, n, long, long tail. There it is, long tail. Now, here are my, now that I've got a, descri a descriptive part, so tail and I said it's long, now we're going to put it into a sentence. So I haven't put a sentence starter here for you. You can create your own and be as creative as you want. You can keep it as simple as you'd like. I will keep it simple just for this activity. So I could say, Long tail, kangaroo has. Mm. That doesn't sound right. Uh, maybe I could say a kangaroo has a long tail. That's fantastic. So I'm going to put that in. So a kangaroo has a long tail. Oh, six words, six lines. Here we go. So a kangaroo has a long tail full stop now let's write my sentence a is it capital because it's the start of my sentence a kangaroo now i see kangaroos here kangaroo so it's right there a kangaroo
Fingerver has has ha as there it is. A kangaroo has a now when it's in the middle, lowercase, a long l ong. It's even got the little word on guys. L ong. I remember I put it up the top too. Long tail. And here I can copy the word tail. T, first letter, next letter A, next letter I, and the following letter L. A kangaroo has a long tail. Full stop. So is that a message that I'm writing for my reader? Does it make sense? Yes. Does it look well? It looks right? Yeah. And what's most important is that it's information. It's not saying a kangaroo is cute. A kangaroo is like the best animal ever. Okay, it's not my opinion. It is information. You're going to now pause this video and then you can have a go at creating your own sentence. Or you can even copy mine. So, choose a part. Step one. Use one word to describe it. Then, step two. Write a sentence about your kangaroo. Have fun. You might even write some more sentences. So, pause this video. And then when you're ready, you can come back and listen to the next activity. Have fun, guys with Wooshka. For Wooshka today, your book is Training Ruby. It's all about Ruby the dog. I hope you have fun with this book. Today, your task, once you've logged in, is to just listen to Ruby or Training Ruby. And we're not going to have a lot of Wooshka activities this week because it's book week. So you might have to, whenever you get a chance, you might just read it for fun this week. There aren't a lot of activities, but there will be activities on other books and they're lots and lots of fun. And you'll understand what I mean when you see it. So today, log into Wooshka, click on Leveled Library down the bottom, click on the book Training Ruby, and then click on the yellow play button to listen to the story. If you want to have a go, you might even try and read it yourself after. Or you could even play I Spy and spy the tricky words that you already know. How cool would that be? You could even make a tally and see. So have fun. Enjoy Wooshka. And I will see you for the next activity. Bye, guys. This. Wait, let's just put my little marker here. So come this, my, to, and here. Now with the word come, like, can you come to the park to play? Or this would be, this is such a cool game. My would be, my friend is super lovely. Two, now this two is tricky. It's not the number two. It's not, oh, um, I'm going to the shops, but it's, I have that toy too. So that's the two that we're using today. You might also is, use it as, oh, that's my favorite color too. And then we have the word here. Like, here is my pink pen. Today's lesson for spelling, you're going to write these words in your neatest handwriting. So just like Mrs. DeBay, you might go C and you might say it out loud. You go O, M, E. And then you might say the word out loud and I say, come. And then I read it again, come. Because when we do this, guys, it's great practice for our brain because we need to know them over and over. Next word, this, T, H, I, S. 
this. And we might say it again, this. So this is what I'd like you, there you go, there's our, trick, our spelling word. I'd like you to do this in the boxes along. Um, have fun, need to stand writing. You might type them up, you might write them on a piece of paper, you might create your own, whatever you'd like to practice your spelling words. Have fun with it and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye guys. Welcome to maths. Today we are going to be looking at subtraction. Subtraction is just the same as take away. We're going to be looking at taking away and making smaller amounts this week. When we take away, guys, we might have, like say if I've got three objects, three objects, and I subtract two, or I take away two, I'm left with a smaller amount. That's how I know it's a good answer. If I say I've got three and I take away one and I've still got three, that would not make sense. That would mean it's not a good answer. Or if I say I've got three objects, and now Mrs. DeBay doesn't really, oh, one second, I don't know where it went. Oh, my pen fell. Okay, so if I say three, take two away and my answer has four that would not make sense so when we take away we've got some amount and value and when we take away we get smaller we don't get bigger that's adding so taking away gives you a smaller amount gives you a smaller answer that's how you know you're probably on the right track now before you go on to practice with Mrs. DeBay, I would like you to watch these fun subtraction songs. And, well, there's one su fun subtraction song with pirates, and you get to practice doing takeaway and subtraction. But there's also Sesame Street, where they talk about cookies and taking away and subtraction with cookies. So it's lots of fun. Enjoy the videos, and I will see you at the next slide. Okay, so now let's work together. Here, this week, we're going to look at the 10 frame today. Or today, not sorry, this week. So the 10 frame, remember when it's full, it will always have 10. When it's got one row, it will always have five. Here, we have an example for you. This one has already been finished. They had five apples. So we can see in the question, five apples, and they took away three apples. So here I can use my hands, I go five apples, one, two, three, four, five apples, take two away, take three away, sorry. So on the 10 frame, they've crossed it, which is great because then it keeps track. We go one, two, three. You can always check it on your hand. One two three and does it look right yeah there are how many left two and that is our answer so if we have five and we take three away we are left with the answer and the answer is two how many are left when we say equals it means five take away three is the same as two that's all that saying. So basically, if we have, now we look at six. So if I've got six, six muffins or six cupcakes, sorry, they've got icing. So I've got six cupcakes. And the question here, the big number is up the front. So if we look, we've got six and we're taking away. There's our takeaway symbol. Looks like a little line. So we have six take away two one two goodbye now how many are we left with we are left with one two three four we're left with four let's check on the 10 frame one two three 
two, three, four. Yes, we have six. Take two away. We're crossing them out. Sorry, I forgot to cross them. And then we have the answer. How many are left? Four. You're going to now do this on the next slide. You can either do this on paper, you can do it in your doc, or you can just um, copy and paste these, put them onto the doc, whatever works for you. You might do them on paper, take a photo, and then slide it onto your doc with an adult. But if you can't, just do your questions on paper. You can even draw the pictures yourself. It's lots of fun to draw them or ask someone to help you. If you can't draw them and you don't have paper, did you know that you can actually use things around your house to do the questions? So I might use a phone, a pencil, a knife, a pen, another two pens, and that's five, and I can take three away and get the answer. So if you don't have paper, if you can't write it, you can still do your working out using objects around your house. Have lots of fun with the questions. Let's have a look at them. Oh, wow, here they are. So our first question, seven strawberries, seven, take four away. How many are left? Okay, so they've helped you cross them out. You have to work out the answer, put them in. Have fun working out your takeaway